Okay, so I was going to do a video with pass-through, but unfortunately I can't figure out how to get pass-through video to record using uh, the Quest Pro. Uh, I followed through the slides and nothing seemed to work, so instead I'll just show um, how Termux and Code Server look in PR with the Quest Pro. So um, from my perspective, all of this text looks clear from edge to edge, so it does actually work as expected. Um, I was able to get Termux going, so let's load that real quick. So the trick is to launch it from unknown sources after sideloading it with uh, ADB. So here's Termux. And then Code Server is Visual Studio Code just running in a browser. Um, we'll get to that in a second. But Termux is really cool. I haven't figured out how to get rid of the um, additional keys at the bottom. Uh, I looked into it a little bit, but haven't had success yet. It looks like we have six cores on this machine. So this is running directly off the headset. And I've cloned a repo here. So I can just reproduce this build real quick. This is a Debian Linux install, so you've got all your standard tools like CMake and G++ and all that stuff. And it's a ARM computer, so you have access to like SIMD instructions on ARM and, you know, otherwise anything that runs on an ARM CPU should run pretty well here. Um, so let's look at code. So code has some issues, but it's pretty much the same thing as on the desktop. An example of an issue is, you know, being unable to scroll by dragging. You have to click. So some things don't work as expected. Also, the scroll wheel feels a little chunky. I feel like it scrolls way too far. <laughs> um, otherwise, the uh, you know, when you actually use a mouse and keyboard, it feels like a normal monitor. Just like larger than usual, so uh, I do find that I have to like turn my head to look at each of these monitors, but I would have to do that with real monitors of the same size. I suppose I can tune the size a bit of everything to work a little bit better. Yeah, there are definitely some issues here. Like, I'd like to be able to resize this, but I don't see where the resize bar is. It's pretty tough to use. So, I wouldn't recommend using Code Server. Um, maybe there's like a, a better code text editor for VR that someone's working on these days. But, um, all right, so our thing built. And it runs. So, yeah, this is um, Git cloned and built right on the headset. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I could see this being useful for real stuff. Um, I would really like to get... Visual Studio Code running natively on this device, because then I'd be able to, um, you know, do actual work, you know, shelling in remotely to a server or something. But uh, this is an interesting first step. So that's what you can do in a few minutes, and I'll put up a blog post so you can see all the details. Um, yeah, so here's how multitasking works as a bonus. You can just drag one of the apps from the task tray over to over here, and then, you know, work with it just like another window. I think they have a limit of three, if I remember correctly. You can kind of, like, move this around, and you can rescale these to whatever size you like with some limits up and down. All right, that's it.